Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I style second day hair. Now second day hair for me is like a mess. My hair gets really greasy and it gets dull and flat and pretty much what you're seeing right now except a little worse. I don't know, I'm having a good hair day today. But either way, I'm going to show you guys how I style second day hair. All you really need is some hair ties, dry shampoo or baby powder, and some bobby pins. Now the first thing I'm going to do is get my dry shampoo and start spraying in between my hair everywhere that I get greasy and then just massage it in my scalp. You can use baby powder instead of dry shampoo. I used to use baby powder all the time. I just don't prefer it anymore because if I don't rub it in my scalp as much as I need to, I do have like a white like cast or like it just looks powdery and white and it does not look natural. But if you do it the right way, baby powder is the best. It was better than dry shampoo in my opinion, but I just bought this dry shampoo so I wanted to give it a try. So I'm going to spray it everywhere in my hair that looks really greasy. My bangs get really greasy. Dry shampoo. The benefits of dry shampoo too is it gives you some texture in your hair. So then you just want to rub all of that in. You see, you can't really see the shininess in my hair anymore. Now you could just leave it like this. I do leave it like this most of the time when it looks, it does not look that dirty. You can't really see as much grease. But there are also other ways. Another thing I do is super simple and to me it's like, Super cute. I actually do this like daily even if my hair is not greasy and dirty, even if it's not second day hair. Super simple. You guys pretty much know how to do it. I just do it really high. <laughs> so pretty much a really, really high ponytail. So I bring all of my hair up and I mind you that I remind you. <laughs> okay, I remind you that I do not comb my hair. It'll leave it like a messy texture in it. And plus, if you comb your hair, you see it's a little greasy still. It, it will show more of the shininess. So let me just spray a little more. And rub a dub dub. Sorry if I'm looking that way. I have a mirror. So, yeah. So I just pull it all the way up, 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 up as high as I can. Well, not as high as, not over here. But you know what I'm saying. So then I get my elastic and I wrap it around my hair. And then you could leave it like that. You know, it, it's still a high ponytail, but I still think it looks really sleek and pushed back and you could really see some of my shininess. And I don't want to put more of this and then have it look white. So what I do here is I pull some of my hairs up. I take some hairs down from here, pull them up, and I get my hair right here for my ponytail and then I bring it up like this pull pull so it looks like this so it sort of to me it reminds me of a cheerleader now cheerleaders are like ready okay <laughs> but yes this is my really pretty high ponytail and you could pull more right here make it look a little more messier you could put more dry shampoo to make it less, you know, sleek back and give it more texture in it. Oh, I think you, I'm pretty sure you could have seen that white I have right there because of the dry shampoo. So yes, this is the second hairstyle. This high ponytail. Super simple. Pretty sure 95% of you guys, 99% of you guys knew how to do a ponytail. I just like bringing it up more. And a tip is I take these hairs out to make it look, you know, a little more messy and not sleeked back. <laughs> the last hairstyle I do is pretty similar to the one before, the ponytail. But it's more of like a bun, but it's not a bun. It's like a semi-bun, but semi-ponytail. So I bring my hair all the way up again. Sort of like if I was doing the high ponytail. Make sure there's no bumps. Well, yes, bump actually. Make sure there is bumps, but no, nothing like this, you know, that's not cute. 
and then I put it all the way up. And then I do two loops around, like if I'm doing a ponytail. So right here I'd go, I'd put this in there and make another ponytail, there'd be my high ponytail, but instead I'm just putting it like that. So, you know, it's not the hairstyle, but I have it look like there's a little bun up there. And there's a hole right here, so you keep your finger there and then you pull. And then you pull. And then you're left with this weird hair right there. I usually leave it like that because I get a little lazy. So, you know, push it back and stuff. So I leave it like this. But you could always make a braid right here going down and then bobby pin it. Or you can always twist this and then wrap it around the ponytail like this. And then get your bobby pins. Look at this hair trying to get away. And then just bobby pin that in there. You could also have it looking like that. And then whichever strays you have, you could always bobby pin those hairs. Like this one. Right there, it's trying to get away from me. Okay, so after that, again. I pull these hairs out, and then I pull these hairs out. You see, these hairs are just trying to get away. This is why I don't do that little whole loop de doop thing. Put that away, and there you go. So these are my three second day hair hairstyles, and I hope you guys like them. I hope you guys take my tips on the baby powder. Baby powders, I recommend that so much more in dry shampoo, but dry shampoo is so much easier for when you're on the go. Hope you guys like it. Oh, look at that hair. <laughs> Um, comment for more, for more requests on videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.